Hey, there was an article this morning in Buffalo Business First that we thought was worthy of some discussion, a major success story for a local company. It is one of the most famous names around Western New York, and we're not talking about Josh Allen or Jim Kelly or even Shark Girl. <laughs> no, we're not. This hometown hero is sort of of the snack variety, actually kind of a snack enhancement, if you will. Of course, bison dip, something that you are pretty much guaranteed to see at any bills, tailgate or watch party or really any get together at all. And joining us live to talk about it is Eva Balage, the director of marketing for Upstate Niagara Cooperative, which owns Bison Foods. Thanks so much for helping us prepare for football season uh, and talk about it tonight. So Eva, Bison Dip is of course a Western New York favorite. Many of us have likely eaten an entire tub of it by ourselves at a point in our lives. Maybe a weak moment, maybe a very good moment. Um, today we learned though that in the height of football season last year, sales for Bison's French onion dip were up 60% compared to other months. I wonder, does that happen every year around the fall and into the winter around football season or was there something pretty unique about last year? It does typically happen. There is a lot of excitement in our area for seasonal sports and also the holidays. Now, granted, we did consume more products at home last fall and actually all year with the pandemic, but it always spikes around the holidays and football season. Again, for Super Bowl and when picnics start around uh, Memorial Day and the key summer holidays, there's always a spike in sales. Yeah, if you need to bring a dish to pass, I feel like that's one that you know is going to be a hit at any party because it's one of those things, right, that you eat, you immediately lose track of time, self-control. I mean, people are really addicted to it. And you said something interesting to Buffalo Business First about the recipe. A lot of people think there's something magical involved here, but what can you reveal about the truth? So really, it starts with the base. It's a fresh sour cream coming from local dairy farms. Our farmer owners, we're a cooperative owned by farmers, so everything is local. And we capture that inherent freshness with the sour cream. And then, of course, the seasoning is proprietary recipe. But we are not changing that. People love it, and we would not disappoint any of our fans by trying to monkey with it. Yeah, people will be relieved to hear that, no doubt, because we think of so many things throughout history. You know, you get to really like something, and then all of a sudden they go and change the recipe, and, and in some cases maybe ruin it for you. So our bison dip is safe. Um, this is the other thing that really stood out in this article that we were all reading this morning. So according to the Category Development Index data from Information Resources, the Buffalo Rochester market ranks highest in the nation in consumption of refrigerated dip. Western New York consuming almost three times more dip than the national average. Obviously, I think bison dip plays a big factor into that because people here are, are sort of so obsessed with it. But what are we to make of that? I mean, it, it's not even close. We just, we consume a lot more dip than anywhere else. We certainly do. We never lack an excuse to dip. So it's just a great product to be snacking on and everybody loves it, so why not? Every occasion is good for bison dip, whether it's summer, winter, get together with friends and family, everybody gets to enjoy it. And we have more than just the French onion flavor. Actually, we have a creamy ranch that just won silver. Now granted, the French onion won the gold award at the New York State Fair, but we do have other flavors too. Eva, there's got to be something great about kind of having a pandemic proof product because we know so many businesses have struggled over the last year plus. Yes, it absolutely sold well. We actually struggled with some of the flavors because there was just so much demand. So we had to suspend making some of the other flavors and just focus on the popular French onion to make sure that it's always on the shelf because people were buying more of it. Yeah, we were running out of so many important things. Eva Balage is the marketing director for Upstate Niagara Cooperative, which owns Bison Foods and is responsible for Bison Dip. Eva, thanks so much for coming on. Good to see you. Thank you for having me. All right. Thank you for watching today, everybody. That's going to do it for the town hall. Yeah, if you have a question or comment, the easiest way to stay in touch is with this number right here, 716-849-2220.